Hello everybody and welcome back to The Invincible based on a book by S. Lems. Brilliant. And all that bombshell. It's time to end. No, it isn't. It's time to continue. Yasna decides to break procedures and give Gorski her oxygen. She then carries him to an open area so that Novik may send the lander to rescue them. Ah, this is where we left off. Uh, and unfortunate things occurred where um, the ground started to shake a bit and Yasna nearly fell to an untimely death if it wasn't for this probe. And here we are. What? Oh, what was that? No, you tell me. Am I? Am I moving? Oh, wait. Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Hmm. Stay calm. Got another comic girl. Just a bit to read. Keep it together. Heartbeats racing. Right. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. So I'm wondering what would have occurred if we'd have kept our oxygen. Hmm. Interesting. So, oh boy. Um, that looks possible. Ah, so that's m that must be where I fell in. Uh, or down, rather. Let's have a look at the comic bit. So, Yasna sets up the relay necessary for the landing procedure. Suddenly, the ground collapses under her and Yasna falls into the very depths of the city. Oh, God. Well, that clears that up. Okay. Well, this is the only way we can go, and we've got to get to the surface somehow. Deposit of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Uh, Meteoric waters. <clears throat> no, too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. Oh, sugar. Wait a minute, can I go this way? Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Um. Maybe not. No, she did say it was deep. I mean, it, it looked as if I could have gone that way. Ah. Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. Never give Please. up hope. I got flat. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Light, damn you, light. Oh. Brilliant. There's light up there. <coughs> Just follow the uh, the light. See? There's light. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm climbing. Okay. Still love this game, by the way. Mm. I'm just wondering if there, there were any creatures that did live here. Because we saw the honeycomb okay. structures. Careful. Oh! No! Literally, I, I didn't press anything there. Oh. Fart. No, no chance. Deep abyss, narrow passage. I can't. I just um, can't. I'm pretty much fucked. Oh, great. That's my considered opinion. Oh. Fucked. Wow. <laughs> okay, I actually 
actually can't see. Oh, never mind. Who the hell was that? Who's that? Oh, it's you. I, I can't see. Oh, Connell or Crowther? Ooh. Who was uh, who was a stranger in the last video? I think it was. Oh, actually, I'm not. I can't actually remember. I think it was Coval. Hmm. Coval, you came back for me, but how? The lander took you. Coval, please speak to me. Is it? Is it? Is that sign language for uh, no? I'm so glad to see you, Yasna. I have so much to tell you, but we don't have time. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Uh. Easy for you to say. I'm barely conscious. Calm down and help me, will you? I wish I could, but then we'd both end up stuck. You have to put yourself together. There's no other way. Please, try to get up. I'm not sure if I did this bit already. I'm so much for the rescue. No, did I? Oh, God, I confused myself. Never mind. There's another bit of comic strip. Okay, so I've got a oh. very, very dangerous. Actually, I don't think I'm doing this. No. Okay, I may have control. I do. Okay. Here we go, another part of the comic strip. Yasna loses strength and hope to ever go back. <clears throat> she unexpectedly meets Cobble, who helps her escape from the underground. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that way. Just the abyss and endless death that ensues it. When you had a filtration system. Oh. Hmm. A bit of climbing? Oh no. Small spaces. Small spaces. Don't like it. Cobble, say something. Something. I can't stand this silence. Do you want to do that? Do you want? Talk over your fears. There's no shame in being afraid. Hey, I'm uh, afraid. I'm not afraid. Just oh. a little oh, oh, oh. tired. Oh, God. Don't play the hero. You really don't have to pretend in front of me. I'll avoid that. I already admire you. You know, I'm proud and rather worried at the same time. What you did for Gorski, well... I wouldn't be able to do that myself. I don't know why I left him my tank. Gorski is dead anyway. Uh, don't say that. Is he? We will return for him. Something attacked me up there. Okay, so oh, this leads... He probably got him too. Then we'll ask Novik. The old man monitors our parameters. Uh, he only tells us what he deems fit. You know that, Koval. Uh, yeah, I do. Still... You did the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. But I was stupid too. A complete failure of reason in an act of futile heroism. Uh, uh, is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Besides that, what oh. have you got on you? Procedural minimum. Uh, telemeter, locator. Metal detector. So, pretty much minimum. Ah, pity. Wonder why they don't give us proper torches. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> That's a point. I went into the water, didn't I? Ah, oh, I wonder if that messed up the flares. Oh, a bit shaky. Hey! Hey, don't go so fast! I think lack of oxygen is possibly making rest. me hallucinate a bit. 
Once more, Hill. You can do it. <laughs> oh. Hold steady. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, I've had enough. Come on, Yasna. Just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster. We're racing against time. Come on. We're fighting for our lives, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> I'm sick of fighting. Okay, Yasna. I'm sorry. I demand so much from you. Too much. <laughs> Be quiet. You don't have to apologize for anything. It's my fault. Maybe Narvik's. But definitely not yours. Stop. I'll be here with you until the end. Remember, none of this is your fault. You deserve to finally rest. Or oh, real. Uh, no, no, I don't. I won't give up yet. I know. Can you stand? I need... Uh, catch my breath first. <sighs> like I said, I'll be here. I only wish I could somehow comfort you. All in all, it's... I'm getting up, okay? Yeah. I knew you would find this <coughs> I'll just, you just um... needed a little encouragement. Don't push it. Interrupted him there a little bit. Oops. Uh. Yeah, I can do it. Positive yeah, mental attitude. Not give up. Most of the control. I, I think I doubted it. Yes. <laughs> yes, if I sort of give up there, I would Thank imagine. Goodness. Oh. See? You made it. Happened. Hello. My whining did some good, didn't it? <sighs> yeah. I, I yeah, guess it did. Kinda did. Oh, hang on. Um, hmm. can I get to you? I forgot I could run. Okay, which way? Okay, that curls around there. nice. Probably, mm, yes, yes. Not, um, not good for swimming in, I don't think. I oh, might think he might have gone. Skeleton. Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. They're further up as well. So that twice. Finally! We have proof. Millions of years ago, there was life on the surface of Regis Three. Uh, is it really such good news? Now, for some reason, there's nothing. You know, not even bacteria or viruses. Hmm. Well, asteroids, same as you know, an asteroid that killed dinosaurs. Um. Radiation. Yeah. Probably this. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something prevented organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps it stopped them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here, and it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? I think I'm hallucinating. Oh, that's good. I just realized something. I'm moving and the time goes down for your decision or choice of uh, conversation. Extension, that's interesting. Okay, am I imagining this because technically he is actually dead? How come you're always a few steps ahead of me? Simple. I walk faster. No shit. <laughs> Come on, it's time to be among other people again. They're out there, somewhere. I promise. Damn, where's he gone? 
Okay, that I assume just loops around. Mine is stuttering. Starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall. You'll overcome that fear just like the others. Because if you stay here, you will die. It looks as if I can fall down here. Oh no, it is. Ooh, this is fun, not even attempting that. Never tempt fate. Not even in games. Reality. Oh. Hey, where did you go? To the surface. I can't go with you any further, Yasna. Kovel? Why? Forgive me for pushing and rushing you so much. It's just... I mean, your mind... I had to pull you out of there somehow. Unfortunately, by now my body is some chemical world over. An empty shell. I want to believe this is not our farewell. Farewell. If it is, it has been an absolute pleasure to serve with you. Why is Novik? Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, where am I? I seem like I was really high there. Oh no, not really high, but that's really high. Is going to fall on me then. I mean, most upsetting. Yes, sir. I'm getting your SOS. Yes. Receiving your bike. Haha. Do you hear me? Astrogator, I, I'm here. Over. Finally, yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir. I saw Continue Kovel. Continue evacuation. Yes, sir, are you saying what? Uh, I don't quite understand myself. No. All right. Let's leave that for <clears throat> now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. <clears throat> As usual, I came out of trouble unscathed. Some would call it a blessing in disguise. <clears throat> I'm not calling it anything until I'm out of here, sir. Understood. Please continue. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh that was behind me. Do you copy? Was it? No. Uh, oh. Um. What the? What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. I was marching with these kind of crab legs. Damn. You must evacuate immediately. You recognize him. Actually, I recognize this noise. It's a damn thing that dropped me underground. It's very likely. I even have a suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> That's helpful. I think it's moving away from me. I hope so. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why won't they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they'll waste time on some shady diversion. Exactly. Makes no sense from a strategic point of view. Do you know what they're looking for? I think they're looking for something here. So I am so that. sure. If the Alliance had been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone anti man to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. And yet, it's walking freely. I can see a path. Oh! 
Oh, I interrupted I myself. Oh, that's a problem. I'm still here. I have to... Uh... I'm um... Uh, I can't move. Why? Oh, it's coming at me. Um... Yes. Uh... I might die. It's getting closer. Uh... It's gonna crush me. Why can't I move? I've got nowhere to run. Oh, the probe! Oh, the probe! Yes, yeah, go for the... Oh, don't shoot the probe. Don't shoot the probe. Get out of, Get out of range. Oh, balls. It hit the probe. I'm okay. The probe did something. Oh, I can move. As if... I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings. They were distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. I'll check on it. Wherever it is. I guess it's busted for good. Hmm. You sure about that? Oh, I'm going through. So, the probe saved my life. Bully! Now, Yasna manages to regain contact with Novik. She also realises that the lack of oxygen has caused her hallucinations. Right. The Alliance. In the city, Yasna encounters a large machine-walking antimatter cannon that belongs to the Alliance. She tries to sneak past it, but the antimat detects her. In the end, Yasna miraculously manages to survive. It miraculously. Yeah. yeah, so the probe saved us. Borley saved us. But the end result is possible destruction of the probe and definitely the destruction of this anti-mat machine, whatever it is, um, as part of the civilization collapsed on it. Not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. Acknowledged. Take that. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've lost another companion. Oh. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Probe. It... It distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. That's not what I meant. I wonder... How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Oh! Bollocks. There's still more of that to look at. Ah. Uh, Okay. Hit call down. Are you talking about the probe call? <sighs> well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. <laughs> but the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Agreed. If we see another one of those things again, we're going to be in trouble. After colliding with the antimat, the probe sustained permanent damage to you. So Yasna decides to retrieve its electronic brain, its main core. We did miss, I think, a couple of slides there. Um, I don't know whether the script could have prevented that, but I think we got to the end of that and she put all those cards away so there could have been something more but the probe definitely did record the antimat 
targeting Yasna from a distance. Hmm, interesting. So what could the other slides have been? The last moment. Oh, not good. You simply don't get a break. What is that this time? Sure to go. Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I don't know. Can I get But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Probably Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. Okay. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you asking about? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So, oh, yeah. hmm. how are you feeling? Uh, what happened to you? I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. Yes. Actually, Koval participated oh. in them. What? I had a long and heartfelt conversation with him. Uh, please don't ask for details. Did the anti mat cut through all this, or was this already here? It must have cut through. Okay, lack of oxygen is really telling. Start to haze out. We need to find something. Okay, nothing right there. I don't want to run because I think that will make it worse and you're going to use up whatever oxygen you've got left. Anything there? I can't really. Nothing's coming up. I wonder if I'm still hallucinating. So Novik has given us some more bad news. Another crew member has oh, damn it. died. The storm's getting worse. As I looked at my OBS screen there and I thought there was a problem with that. <laughs> so it's in game. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look. So storm. So we still need to get out of here. Ooh. Oh, if this is all metal and there's an electrical storm. Ooh, I could all that's conducting. Astrogator. I found their vehicle. A transport? No. A rover. There isn't a living soul here. Are you sure? Please take a look around. It's clear. No one's coming out with me. I'm all alone. Is that disappointment I hear? Anyway. Oh, I see. Is that my stuff? Right. I don't want to meet anyone. Well, the reality is this one. In game. Disappointment, but tiredness. Are you surprised? No, not at all. Understandable. Natural shield. Human instinct. <sighs> the hell is that noise? Am I 
go the wrong way. That would seem like the only way to go. Oh. Oh! Bollocks. Okay, no, I didn't see that. Didn't explore all of them. Time seems to be slipping through my fingers right. like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Jasper. Because I am tired, Astrogator. Go! Did you get yes. But I still have to pop back outside. Let's check something. Time is pressing, Doctor. The storm. I know, I know. But it's important. Look for oxygen. Oh. I think there's a chance of an oxygen tank around here. Somewhere. Why didn't I think of that myself? You're absolutely right. Ah! Wait. Huh. Got it! Bingo. What? What are you talking about? I found an oxygen tank. Started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. He's sending a bit off. Every time that we move through this story. Oh. That's why I couldn't. I'm going. Please talk to me. That's why I couldn't go any and further. Calm me down. Oh shit! Ooh, it hit the I'm in it. Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. The vehicle is, is kind of a cage. Oh. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge it to the ground. I'm not worried. Fantastic. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. It doesn't stress me out at all. Uh, what, what? What? Maybe here? This up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. Aha! Yes. Exaggerations noted. I like this. So, where are the Alliance, I would say, crew members for this rover? Possibly three of them. So, as you can see, he's up to three. Could be wrong. Could be just one. Could be two. Could be all three. Uh... Oh, Pfft. rock. Is it passing? Ah! Oh, oh shit. Right, yep. Okay. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Oh, Is this a good idea? I feel this isn't a good idea. I found it's... a place to hide. Oh. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It 
It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? <sighs> what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Right, Yasta manages to drive out of the city in the abandoned Alliance rover. But where are its crew? During the storm, he has to hide in a cave. So, I think... I am going to leave this particular episode here. We've had a bit of fun. We've met uh, some Alliance machines. anti mat Our probe, unfortunately, didn't survive. We've found a rover. We've hallucinated a bit. Um, and um, we've... Uh, We've done a fair bit of trekking. This is this is quite a fun bit, I think, driving the rover. Sort of like a a tuk tuk, but um, with a roof than all its sides counted for. <laughs> Sorry about the tire. They drive a little bit like rally drivers out there. It's a three. Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is. Not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit it's an interesting thought. And quite disturbing. So, yeah, as I was saying. Um, uh, what, was I, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, Tuk Tuk's Thailand, uh, the Dravelet Rally Drivers, they've only got three wheels. My God. That they nearly did a, a fools and only fools and horses moment. Not quite, I mean, pretty safely. No, I did drive. Anyway, so uh, moving on. Um, so, uh, yes, I'm going to end this episode here. A little bit of a short one. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, and, yeah, we'll pick this up next time. So, um,. Big thank you once again to uh, everybody out there um, for uh, um, getting the channel now to well over 2,000 subscribers. I have a feeling we're in the dark. And again, that's we have to find a way. To oh, that's not quite what I meant, but yeah, I probably should. Promotions are still on promotion until the first of February, and then that's it. So there we are. Um, watch hours, uh, that's the new target goal, uh, 3,000 for the minimum uh, milestone. It will still unlock uh, YouTube memberships, which you can become a part of, um, and stickers and a shop merchandise thing, which I won't worry about yet. And then the primary goal, uh, which is a uh, full partnership, uh, got to reach 4,000 um, total watch hours. Um, there. The only other thing I can do is uh, try it with YouTube Shorts, um, but it's 10 million for the medium milestone, and I think it's 30 million views or something, because it's short, and you're going to get more people in. It's blah, blah, blah. Anyway. When you admire a beautiful view, an hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does we just three feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. Feels like I'm in a rover. Um, it's a hot rover. Anyway, right. I am definitely going to end here. So thank you, past, present, and future watchers for watching. Cheerio.